Hello, it is Sunday, the 1st of May. The, uh, the Royal Readathon has begun. I'm so excited. Eee! Um, so I hosted sprints today with Catherine and I started them a little bit early. I started them at 10 a.m. And I did the first like hour and a bit on my own, which I don't do. <laughs> I don't do them on my own and it was nerve wracking, but I did it. I did it. I'm proud of myself. Um, and in those sprints, I started The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren and I finished The Unhoneymooners by Christina Lauren. This was so good. Um, this came out as a five star on Corpal. I'm not actually shocked. It was only just a five star, um, but I really liked this. I loved the main character and there's a particular type of enemies to lovers I love and this is it and I'm just like Spanish love deceptions one of them as well and I'm just like here for that sort of enemies to lovers um and I just oh, it was so so good I loved the characters um Ethan really annoyed me at one bit and so did everyone else other than the main character but I that's you're su it's supposed to happen like that so the writing was really good and I am definitely 100% gonna be picking up some more Christina Lauren books now so very happy with that um this was for a readathon this was my Tiana and Naveen prompt to read a book with enemies to lovers and it was a uh, very well done. I'm so happy. Another romance to my list. Um, so yeah, I read that on the sprints. Catherine also managed to finish two books today. Granted, one was left over from April, but she read an entire book. Impressive. Um, so there's one book straight off the bat off of my TBR. Now... Now, I have just watched Doctor Strange on Rose Marvel Watch Along for her patrons. Watched Doctor Strange and now I'm really torn because between... So we come off the sprints and Lisa was premiering her Marvelathon um, announcement, which was awesome. Like, I'm going to link it down below. Go watch it. Um, <clears throat> there might be team captains. Um... And then after that, between then and watching Doctor Strange, I was watching Bad Batch because I started watching season one and I am loving it. Um, so I'd watched the first episode because the first episode's an hour long. So I thought, OK, I'm going to watch one episode. And I ended up watching I ended up watching three episodes. <laughs> um, so I'm really torn because trying to remember how many episodes is in it okay so there's 16 episodes in season one for some reason i thought there were six <laughs> i don't know why there's not six there's 16 so i think what i'm gonna do is watch some of that i was originally gonna start solo leveling volume one but i have read an entire book today and I know I've watched a lot of TV but I am a little bit tired so I don't want to start oh see now I'm looking at it and I kind of want to start this screw it I'm going to start this and then I'll watch some of Bad Batch I'll catch up with you in a bit okay it's like not even half hour later um I read Solo Level in Volume 1 <laughs> this is a really quick read and I am very intrigued i'm really glad i decided to get this this was so good this was a five star the art style in this is like absolutely like amazing i can't show you any without spoiling so yeah this was this wasn't actually part of my readathon tbr this was just a book that i really wanted to read this month so just shoved it on the end of my tbr video <laughs> um so yeah i'm really happy i've finished two books today which is great i am here for this that is good progress good progress so now i am going to get in bed and i am going to watch a couple of episodes of bad batch because 
I love it and yeah so I'll catch up with you tomorrow hello it is Monday I'm gonna make this a really quick update because I'm really tired it was bank holiday today and I didn't have to work which was great um I did some like house stuff sat on TikTok for like two hours and started Brotherhood by Mike Chen um I'm really enjoying this I'm halfway through I'm really enjoying it I think the main thing I'm enjoying about it is that we're getting a glimpse of Anakin and Obi-Wan like from after Attack of the Clones but before Clone Wars and obviously consequently before Revenge of the Sith because a lot happens between Attack of the Clones and Clone Wars that we don't get to see because by Clone Wars Anakin already has his own Padawan Ahsoka and he doesn't have so Ahsoka's not in this yet and seeing him interact with the younglings is hilarious if you've watched Revenge of the Sith because that scene never fails to make me laugh and I'm a terrible person because of that but I don't care it cracks me up um anyway <laughs> I'm really enjoying this I really like the new characters we have Ventress who if you've watched Clone Wars you're gonna know who Ventress is but if you have only watched the movies you're not gonna know I have watched Clone Wars now so I know who Ventress is and it's really cool being able to see her in this and I'm just really enjoying this is the first Star Wars book I've read and I definitely think I want to continue reading Star Wars books now. They're not all written by the same people. But in this, I don't know if all of them have this. But in the beginning of this, there's a little guide on like where in the time Star Wars timeline the novels take place. So obviously Brotherhood is here after Attack of the Clones. Clone Wars isn't mentioned on here. Like the animated... Um, TV shows isn't mentioned on this timeline but I think it's important to note that this happens before Clone Wars um but yeah I'm really enjoying it I also have Thrawn Ascendancy because the Thrawn Ascendancy trilogy takes place around about the same time as this as well and I have the first book in that trilogy but I haven't read it yet shockingly I know um but yeah I'm definitely going to be checking out more of these Star Wars novels now because I'm really enjoying this and I'm so excited to be on the blog tour and I've actually been making notes in my review book which I haven't been doing but because it's for a blog tour I thought I, I should really try and get into the habit of doing that <laughs> but on that note I am gonna say goodnight I'm actually so tired because I stayed up fairly late last night watching The Bad Batch and I'm now halfway through season one so I will catch up with you tomorrow where hopefully I can finish this. I'm also going to have an audiobook on while I work, which I think will probably be the last Julie Kaplan book I need to read for Eurovision Athon, which is the one that's set in Ireland. Um, but we shall see. We'll see. But on that note, good night. I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Hello, it is Tuesday. Tuesday? Yeah, it's Tuesday. Um, and I have had one of those days. My hair is also like, it's just like puffing up more and more. <laughs> um, so I had this whole plan that whilst I worked today, um, I was going to read Cozy Cottage in Ireland by Julie Kaplan because the audiobook was on script. Go on to script this morning. No, they have uh, taken it off until the 18th, which doesn't help me because it's for eurovision -a -thon, which ends on the 14th. So I have now reserved the physical book and e-book from my library in the hopes one of them will be available in time for me to read it before the 14th of May. Um, but then after that, I thought I would give my book for Poland a go which was the Widow Queen um a DNF to 82 pages in um so 
from the sounds of this lot, I, I haven't read the blurb recently. I read the blurb like last year for Eurovision a thon. And when I read the blurb, it came across as like historical fantasy. So I was like intrigued because I'm not a massive fan of historical fiction. But if it's fantasy, I quite like it. Yeah, 80, 82 pages in, there was nothing fantasy about this. And I just, I didn't, I couldn't tell you any of the character names. I couldn't tell you who was related to who. I couldn't tell you who was actually trying to be king. I couldn't tell you what was going on. Like... So yeah, I DNF'd it, which I'm really sad about because I spent a credit on this a year ago. Anyway, then tonight I went on Lisa Sprints with Jem and Amy and I finished Brotherhood by Mike Chen. Technically, I didn't finish it on Sprints. I had 29 pages left and I finished it when we came off Sprints. Um... I really enjoyed this. I really loved how it literally just felt like an episode of like Clone Wars or something. Like I really enjoyed it. The story was great. The you get to see like a slightly different side of like Anakin and Obi-Wan that you don't see in the films because that part of the timeline isn't in the films or the tv shows and you get to see it's obviously like in attack of the clones it's like mm, anakin's never really gonna have a padawan though is he um and then in this you see how he gets to that point where he might possibly have a padawan and then if you've seen clone wars you'll see that he has ahsoka as his padawan so it was really good i really enjoyed it and it came out on corpo as a five star and it was like it wasn't even like a, like, just scraped a five star. It was a solid five star. I really enjoyed this. The writing was brilliant. It, Like I said, it felt like I was, like, watching an episode of, like, Clone Wars or something. It was great. Um, so, yeah, I'm really happy with this. I need to write up my full review ready for the 20th. I have got time, but I've made notes, so, like, I think i'm gonna try and do that tomorrow we'll see how that goes because this is me um so yeah i'm really happy with that um i don't really know what i'm gonna to read tomorrow i should read a readathon book but i also have eurovisionathon still to go and quite a lot of my eurovisionathon books now well actually all of my eurovisionathon books now are all physical reads so i think i'm gonna actually have to read some more physical books which is going to be a bit of a shock to the system considering last month how many audiobooks I read um but it's fine I'm not sure what I'm going to start off with but we'll see I might mm, I might just go for one of my readathon books you know like one of my romances um we'll see I'll, I'll let you know tomorrow but on that note I have already edited out like three yawns by this point. Sorry, editing Becca. So I'll catch up with you tomorrow. It is Star Wars Day today. May the 4th be with you. I have had a very Star Wars day. I've got my Darth Vader top. I've got my Mandalorian joggers. And I can't lift my foot up, but I have Grogu socks. This is very Star Wars. Whilst I was working, I watched Phantom Menace and I watched Attack of the Clones. Attack of the Clones is the worst one of all the films. However... I like it a little bit more each time I see it. Since I finished Brotherhood yesterday, which is set on Kato Neomedia, I can never pronounce it. Um, and I've literally just finished watching Revenge of the Sith. 
Um, the bit in Revenge of the Sith where um, Anakin's like, oh, I've saved your life ten times and Obi-Wan's like, nine. The time on Cat and Media doesn't count. And I'm like, oh my god, that's where I'd heard that place before. Because Brotherhood is set, that is literally that time, the time that doesn't count with Anakin saving him. And now I know what happened. <laughs> I love it. Um, but yeah, so, so I know that watching them in um timeline order means next i have to watch uh solo rogue one new hope empire strikes back and um return of the jedi but do you know what i am gonna actually i'm skipping those um if you disagree with me i really don't care because oh i've not watched enough oscar isaac today the moon knight finale <sighs> No spoilers. I'm I'm not going to spoil anything. However, oh, hmm. that finale was everything, and the end credit scene was everything I could have wished for. And I need season two to be announced, like now, please. Um. So yeah, I've not had enough Oscar Isaac in my life for today, so I'm skipping to Force Awakens. I know there's a lot of like controversy about the um the sequel trilogy but you know what this is the house that likes the sequels and in fact the sequels are my favorite as a trilogy overall the sequels are my favorite individual films my favorites are revenge of the sith rogue one and the last jedi but as a whole trilogy i'm I like Phantom Menace, starting to tolerate Attack of the Clones, love Revenge of the Sith. The original trilogy is good, but I feel like the fact that I hated them when I was a kid has like stuck with me and I just, I can't bring myself to be obsessed with them. And then you've got the sequel trilogy and I know there's so much wrong with it, but I don't care because I love it. Like, all three of them, even Force Awakens, which is my least favourite of the three. But I still love Force Awakens enough to re-watch it all the time. So, that's what I'm going to do. And, and um, of course, I'm going to have a tea in my Adam Driver mug whilst watching Force Awakens. So, that is what I'm going to do right now. Um... I'm gonna go be thirsty. And drink a tea. So I will uh, probably not catch up with you again tonight because I'm not reading today. Today is a reading free day. To be fair, tomorrow probably will be too because I'm going to see Doctor Strange, but we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, I'll catch up with you tomorrow. Did I win the McDonald's one? I won the KFC one as well. And also a crap load of tickets. Proof that uh, I won because I am the best. So I haven't actually said, but it is Friday. I had the day off work today, and me and um, Connor went to the beach, what well, the seaside, and we went literally in so many um, arcades. I have, of course, got a bit sunburnt because, of course, I have. But I've got home and I couldn't decide on what to have for dinner. So I ordered sushi. So I ordered chicken bayo buns. And then I ordered some salmon and avocado uramaki, ur I think it is. And the salmon maki was on offer. So I ordered that. And they usually send it in different, but they've sent it in one whole one. And I was going to save the salmon maki for tomorrow. But because it's all in one, I'm probably not now. But. Hello, so it's a lot later. I am so tired, I'm about to go to sleep, but I thought I would just come in and say hi. We're gonna ignore this sunburn. This is what happens when a ginger, a naturally ginger goes out in the uh, in the sun. I wasn't even out in the sun that long. I was mostly in arcades. Um, 
so I had a really nice day up um, by the seaside. It's been a while since I've had a day like that because obviously COVID and everything, but it was so much fun. So um, I don't know if you would have been able to, uh, if I got actual clips, but I, in the 2P machines, because I have literally no control with them whatsoever, I got this little uh, Iron Man eraser, practical. And then there were these little key rings. This one hasn't actually got a key ring on it, which is annoying. This little key ring of McDonald's fries, old school McDonald's as well. And there was another one with KFC fries. And I won both of them. And I gave Connor the KFC one. Um, however, it wasn't until I won them that we realized it's a sharpener. It's a pencil sharpener. So practical winnings. <laughs> um and then and then we played loads of arcade games and um <laughs> we uh, i am very competitive i don't think he realized i don't think he believed me when i said that i'm really competitive um i try not to be but i beat him at the pac-man air hockey i won guitar hero i won space invaders i won mario kart I won Halo. Um, what else was there? He beat me at the Pac-Man Battle Royale thing. And he beat me at the normal air hockey. But he had an unfair advantage. Because it's a really run down arcade. And that was not magnetised properly. So I couldn't like hit the the thing properly so he ended up winning by default um oh i also won flappy bird it's not called flappy bird though i think it's called flying birds or something but it's basically flappy bird and i won that <laughs> um oh he won basketball as well because i'm not that good at basketball so yeah we had a really fun day we got savaloy and chips and sat along the seafront which was really nice um and yeah it was a really nice day and i'm so glad we did it um i spent far too much money on the 2p machines and on the arcade just in general but it's fine because i had fun um i did get home and couldn't be bothered to cook so i got the sushi and i had the sushi and the sushi was amazing and i've got more for tomorrow so yeah but then i got in bed and i thought I want to start a book and I didn't want to start the one I was originally going to start so I started Love Hypothesis. Um, I'm 136 pages in, I wanted to read a little bit more but I I know a lot of people have this but I'm one of those people that if I am like breathing in the nice seaside air I it really tires me out so like I literally all evening I've been so drowsy so yeah I'm finally gonna just like cave and go to sleep um so yeah I'm gonna finish this tomorrow but I I, I mean are we surprised I'm loving this um so yeah I am gonna go to bed and I'll catch up with you tomorrow I'm hoping I could have a um pretty productive day tomorrow um but we shall see also, we won loads of tickets in the um, arcades and there was nothing good <laughs> to get with the tickets we got. We got like almost 900 tickets. Um, so I didn't actually get this on video or anything and it's downstairs so I can't move well, my one's downstairs. But we got um, these like spider things which... <laughs> They are the cutest thing. I don't like spiders, but these are really cute. And they basically, you put it on the like on the ground or on a flat surface or something. And you have to just talk loudly or like yell or whatever. And it moves. And the louder the noise is, the faster it will move. And when I hate, I've got Sammy and he's got Sir Silkington. Um, so we used our, our tickets to get those pointless piece of rubbish. But do you know what? I got home and I got mine out and um, tried it in front of the dogs and it was hilarious. Sammy didn't care about it. Belle was just like, what's this? What's this? 
and didn't know whether to like try and go to it or run from it. It was so funny. I also realised that <laughs> I did not talk to you yesterday. Did I talk to you yesterday? I don't think I did. I'm going to cut this bit out if it's uh, if I did talk to you yesterday. But basically, I went to see Doctor Strange. Oh my god, so good. And then I came home and I finished off series one of Bad Batch, which was, broke me. It hit me in the feels. It was so good. I need season two. And then I watched the first two episodes of Rebels. And I don't really know yet if I'm going to enjoy it because the animation style is a lot different to Clone Wars and Bad Batch. So I'm not sure yet if I'm going to be able to get along with the like animation style, but we'll see how the actual story goes. But yeah, anyway, I'm going to go now and I'll catch up with you tomorrow. It's Saturday. I just finished my reread of The Love Hypothesis. I have now read it four times. And it still brings me the same joy on a fourth time reading it that it did on the first time reading it. I love it so much. So much. Obviously five stars. I don't even have to think about it. Like I literally just copy my rating from the previous time because it is tens all across the board on Core Pile. Um, I just love this so much. I've never loved a book this much. And I know that I'm having that existential crisis about whether this is my favourite or Love on the Brain is my favourite. And I'm going to have to reread Love on the Brain to make that decision. But honestly, I love this book so much. Um, I don't know where my planner is. Where is it? There it is. Um, so this was for Rural Readathon. This is my Cinderella and Prince Charming book a book with a ball or party i maintain that the picnic is a party it's a party um so yeah um mm, i love it so much um so yeah that's mostly what i've done today um i had to like i had to pop to town um because i had to go to post office and grab some food bits and what else did I do today? I <laughs> I filmed my updated Funko collection. I still need to, I've only filmed the intro, outro and the actual Funkos. I've got to do the voiceover bit for the Funkos. Um, I don't know if I'll have time to do it tomorrow. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so I'm very happy right now that I've... Uh, managed to get that done and I've also made my list for my Yelp for Beginners video but I have I was actually going to film that one today but then I realised there might be some questions that I haven't answered that I could answer so I did a tweet and put in um, a couple of the discords about um, if anyone's got any questions and I'll try and answer them in the video. Um, I'm probably not going to be able to answer every single question that I get asked um, just because like there are some things that I I haven't done at Yelp before, can I, so I can only, like, give a rough answer. But where, like, basic things are concerned, I'm pretty sure I'm going to be able to answer them. Um, so, yeah, I've made a list and I'm adding to the list as people ask me questions. Um, and I'm hoping to film the video in the next few days but it might be a next weekend thing we'll see um but yeah so that has been my day me and Liv paid off Disney today um so we had until like I think it was like mid-June but we thought do you know what screw it let's do it now because we can um and then at the end of I think it's end of this month or the end of next month we finished paying off the flights which means it's done and then next month we can book our universal tickets and I'm just so excited it's unbelievable so yeah that is basically been my day i'm now so tired i don't even know what the time is it is 10 p.m i think i'm actually gonna go to bed i was gonna put the tv on but i am actually really tired because i didn't sleep well last night which is really frustrating because usually if i've spent the day at the seaside i am just so tired and i'm like out like a light however 
my body did not react that way yesterday and even though I was literally falling asleep I wasn't actually falling asleep um so yeah it's 10 o'clock now I've got a really busy day tomorrow because obviously I've got my sprints from 10 till 2-ish and then I've got my live show for By the Angel Along at three which will probably be like between an hour and two hours depending on how much we have to talk about which I, I have a fair amount to talk about um and then it's Rose Marvel watch along in the evening and it's Guardians of the Galaxy 2 um so yeah yeah I'm this close to rewatching Moon Knight just because I really want to <laughs> But I'm also like, I should be watching shows that I haven't watched yet. Like, I'm still only eight episodes into Supernatural and I want to actually get on that. I'm only two episodes into Rebels and ideally I wanted to watch all four seasons of Rebels before the Obi-Wan Kenobi show because I think there's going to be a few characters that... I mean, already I know from the trailer of Obi-Wan Kenobi there's going to be a character that is from Rebels and I don't think we've seen the character in Clone Wars or anything. So I need to watch Rebels before the 27th of May so that is going to be my like while I work thing like I did with Clone Wars but I also really want to re-watch Clone Wars because I love that show um but yeah anyway we're not gonna what I don't know I'm rambling I am rambling um next week is the final week of Eurovision-a-thon and I am nowhere near done on what I wanted to get read um, I've still only read 10. Um, I am going to be reading The Cozy Cottage in Ireland tomorrow. That is my goal for tomorrow to at least get at least half of it read. Um, and then I've got Love and Gelato, which I'm going to kind of prioritise because I got it from the library. Um, but again, that's like a fairly short book. So I'm hoping I can finish that fairly soon. And then I've got I've got a few others as well. One I think I'm not going to like rush to get to because I can use it for Marvelathon. But we'll see next week. But I also want to like be getting through some more of my Royal Readathon books because you know that's my readathon. Um, and so far I've read two books. Um, granted, City of Lost Souls, I'm reading nearer the end of the month because obviously I want to wait till after the live show and everything. Um, and one of them is a buddy read so i don't know when we're reading that one um but yeah i want to try and get some of the others might see if i can get audiobooks for any of them because that might speed it up a little bit um but yeah anyway i'm gonna wrap this vlog up now i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog if you have hit the like button hit the subscribe button and i'll see you next time bye